What's up guys, Top Tier Yu-Gi-Oh here, and as most of you guys have probably heard, we are getting a new sub terror Link Monster and Circuit Break, and I was super excited when I heard about this, I mean, Links are awesome, sub terrors are awesome, so the fact that we're getting new sub terror cards and that it's a Link Monster, I was super super excited to hear about this, but this card is actually terrible, and so I want to go through why it's terrible in sub terrors and then also some other uses for it, maybe some different applications and other decks that it could be used in. And so let's go ahead and get into the effect. I'm going to pull up the picture on the screen. And for some reason, it's like, like a dragon. I don't know why there would be a dragon underground, but, you know, that's a side of the point. So it's called Subterra Behemoth Apparition. It's a Link to Earth Worm Link Effect Monster with 2,000 attack. The links point down to the bottom left and the bottom right. So that's already very good, actually, because links that point down without giving your opponent any links are usually preferred so that you can summon more extra deck monsters without giving your opponent any extra deck monsters. So the material it requires are two flip monsters, so you can only use your behemoths for this, that's very important. The first effect is that it gains 100 attack times the total original levels of its sub terror link monster materials. And so if you were to use like a Stygo Kraken, which is level 5, and then an Umastrix, which is level 7, you add those up, you get 12 times 100, you're gaining 1200 attack, which will put it at 3200. And that's a pretty decent effect, but not super relevant. The second effect is the really really good one and that you can send one flip monster from your deck to the graveyard and if you do special summon one monster from your hand in a zone that this card points to in face down defense. So this is very reminiscent of Nemesis Warrior's effect where Nemesis Warrior sends a monster from the deck to the graveyard and then you summon that monster from the grave. This one sends a flip monster, so not just a sub tear, from your deck to the graveyard and then special summons one monster from your hand and that can be any monster. So it is really cool that you can special summon any monster. It gives you cool ways to summon things you normally couldn't summon. It's sort of similar to like a uh, toy vendor in that regard. And then the third effect is that once per turn, if a monster this card points to is flipped face up, you can add one flip monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So on paper, this sounds really, really good. But for sub tears, maybe not so much. And so let's go back to some of the problems that sub terrors had. I've covered this so many different times in so many different videos, but the major problems that sub terrors have, in my opinion, are the ability to summon multiple sub terror monsters, the ability to summon your behemoth monsters, and then being able to flip your monsters face up. And so all three of those problems are extremely important, and you need to bypass each of them to really utilize this card effectively. And so first, the fact that it requires two flip monsters means you have to summon two behemoths on your side of the field. So you can't have Fiend to set another monster, you can't have Nemesis Warrior in another monster, you need two behemoths. And it's already hard enough to summon one, so to have two, it's just... It's a little ridiculous in my opinion. I think the only easy way to do it is to like... Heart draw two sub terror behemoth monsters, or maybe one in Hidden City. And then have... Either Fiendus or Instant Fusion summon Invoked Raijin. But that's just kind of difficult to do because... Like, you're, you're neg wanting to summon any link monster, and then at that, you still need another monster in your hand to summon. So it's sort of, you know, it's sort of hard to really, really pull off because you kind of need two behemoths in hand plus a third monster to summon, which is a lot. So it's already difficult to summon. The second effect requires you to have something in your hand to actually summon with it. And then the third effect is too dependent on you actually having Hidden City or Final Battle. And so, again, the problem is being able to flip your monsters. If you don't have that ability to flip them, then it's going to be very difficult for you to actually use this effect. And so it sort of goes with that stigma of like, if you have Hidden City, or Final Battle, of course, then the duel is going to be pretty easy. But if you don't have it, super unwinnable. And this really goes along with that. However, I do think that Subterra Behemoth Apparition, this new card, is going to be useful in a couple of other decks. And so... The first thing that came to my mind actually is Crawlers, and so Crawlers come out in the same set, they come out in Circuit Break, and they are also an archetype of Flip Monsters. And so, this doesn't require two sub tier monsters, again, it's only two Flip Monsters, they can be any Flip Monsters, including Crawlers. Then the second effect, again, it has to do with Flip Monsters, not sub tiers. The third effect, again, having to do with Flip Monsters and not sub tiers. and so, even though this is a sub tier card, it's really more Flip Monster support than anything. And so Crawlers being the new set that are flip cards, I think this will be very useful for them. Especially considering that the second effect sends flip monsters from your deck to the graveyard, and they have monsters that summon other monsters from the graveyard, and they can also flip their monsters pretty easily, and so it gives you a pretty decent way to search as well. So I do think that this would be very good in Crawlers. Another deck that this could be good in is actually Shadals. 
and I pray every single ban list that we get Construct back just to one. I would be fine with just getting Construct one. I love that card and I love that deck. But I think this would be really good in, in uh, Shadalas even with or without Construct. Because this gives you ways to uh, send your Shadal monsters from your deck to the graveyard and trigger their effects. So you can send a Shadal Beast to draw a card, you can send a Squamata to send anything else, Hedgehog to search another Shadal. There's just so many different things that you could do and I think it really opens up the doors for a lot of different plays. And even if you are playing this card and not a Shadal deck, you could tech in some Shadal cards just to make this card an uh, easy way to plus. Like if you're playing sub terrors, you can maybe tech a Shadal Beast just so you have an easy way to draw. Or maybe tech a Shadal Dragon so this could be an MST. So there are a few different options there. And I thought there was another flip archetype that this could be useful in. But it just slipped my mind. And so let me know in the comment section if you think there are other decks or archetypes that this card could be good in. I think we're all looking for ways to make sub terrors cool. And so if you have any sort of ideas, leave them in the comment section below. Another cool thing is that... Uh, there's a new Spiral Link monster too, and OCG is also getting the rest of the sub tiers. So it'll be interesting to see how sub tiers actually do in the OCG metagame, because it's going to give us sort of an indication of how they might do in the TCG metagame once we get to that point. So once we get the circuit break, after Zodiacs have been demolished by whatever ban list does it, you know, once we get to that point, it'll be interesting to see if sub tiers are actually good, or at least in that, in that uh, format. And so with that being said, TLDR, I do think this new sub tier Link monster is trash in sub tiers, pretty good in other flip decks so let me know what you think how do you think it's going to be in sub tiers how do you think it's going to be in other decks uh as always like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video